So now we're set up right now. We're going to go to the settings. So I'm obviously going to go to English, but you see, it's pretty smooth when you go up and down. All right. So we're going to do the setup right now. English. United States. Data and privacy. I'll hit continue. Set up with iPhone. So this is a pretty cool thing. You can set up your Apple TV with your iPhone. So now I'm going to hit set up with iPhone. Set up your Apple TV, unlock iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch, connect to Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth, and hold the device close to your Apple TV. So that's what I'm going to do now. So these are the steps, and I'll show you guys right now. I'm going to set it up on my iPhone to set up. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hit set up, and it's connecting. So I'm going to type in the code. And then now it should be connecting and then the cool part is that when you do the calibration from your phone to the tv so like that you can get the best perfect audio and image from your iphone into your tv that's pretty awesome and then we'll test out like a show and a movie um just to see how i know it'll be a little bit hard for you guys to notice because you're not actually in my house but i won't lie I'll tell you guys the truth. It's setting on iCloud, set up security. So this may take a few minutes. Oh, there we go. Required passcode, always required. Uh, I am going to pick, let's see. I'm gonna put never require because that's just because setting from your iPhone done. And now I have the Apple TV remote on my iPhone as well, if I ever needed it, but not with this one, this new amazing remote, I shouldn't have any issues with it. So we're going to go to continue. Now get Hulu. So we have Hulu as well. This is the living room. See the world. See that is pretty cool. It's like a wall screensaver. Uh, from all over the world, additional videos can be downloaded automatically. Automatically download. Don't share. The analytics. No problem. Terms and conditions, agree. Try Adobe Vision right now. So we'll do that real quick. You see Adobe Vision, now it's gonna take. Apple TV switched your TV 4K Adobe Vision at 60 Hertz. If you see clear picture, select OK, select cancel. If you see sparkle, static or other display problems. So wait until the countdown goes down. All right. Apple TV switched your TV to previous format. Make sure HDMI cables and devices you connect to support Dolby Vision. OK. And here is their Apple TV. And the cool things about it, you can see your photos and listen to your music and all these other things. So now we're gonna go to the settings so we can do the calibration. So we're gonna go to, let's see, where are we in general, I think. Enable Dolby Vision 4K HDR format. We're going to go, let's see. Dolby Amos is on. Uh, reduce on lock. Here we go. So this is where you do the calibration here. Color balance. 
So we're going to go here. And now adjust your color balance. Apple TV will measure and adjust your television's color balance for best results. Avoid bright or highly saturated pictures, modes like vivid or sports. You will never need your iPhone with Face ID and iOS 14.5 or later versions. Bring it close to your television and tap the notification. So I'll hit continue and it's preparing now. So you see this here is basically telling me for in order to do the calibration, I have to put my phone in front of the TV. So turn your iPhone around so the front facing camera is pointing at your television. Hold it centered inside the outline within one inch of the screen. Make sure the top edge of your iPhone is completely inside the outline. Oh, it's doing something's measuring it. Oh. Color balance complete. All right. Perfect. Pretty simple. Done. Now we're going to view the results here and hopefully you guys can see and tell a little bit the difference. So this is the balance that we're using right now with the Apple TV. And then this is the original. So you see the difference here is a little bit brighter and here you have the, it just looks a little bit vibrant. So that's basically where we're going to see like all our shows and movies is going to be, is going to be using the balance that I just calibrated with my iPhone. So this is the original. And this is the used balance. So this one has a little bit more of a vibrant, vivid color. So that's cool. And I want to use balance. All right. So now it's balanced. And then you have here a bunch of other different uh, settings here. Now we're going to go into a uh, show and see, um, I have to connect it to, so I just turned off the lights. This is the audio and video of this show. So that's pretty much the audio and the images. See, now I have to download a bunch of our apps that we normally use, um, like Netflix, YouTube, and HBO Max and other apps um, that we currently use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, here, you can see all your photos as well from your phone. So it's pretty cool. Um, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you can just stream all your stuff from your iPad, your iPhone, and you can just watch and see everything here. Now I'm going to try uh, the Siri on the remote control. Hey Siri, play Apple TV Plus. So it automatically goes to the all the shows from Apple TV Plus. So now I'm going to try this. I'm going to go to the app and then just say one of the TV shows and see just to, so you guys can see how it works. So let's go to, let's see, what do we have here? By the way, this is a good show that's on right now. Mayor of East Town. If you guys haven't watched it, give it a try. It's pretty awesome. Um, all right, let's see. Hey Siri, open up Hulu. 
and then it automatically goes into your Hulu account. Hey Siri, play Ted Lasso. See, it automatically goes into the show, which is pretty awesome. And I'm gonna show you real quick. Where are we with the expansion? We've been working really well together. Boom! Skip that. Cool thing about this as well with the remote, once you hit pause, you can, if you need to go fast forward or you need to go back, you can just use the dial here. Once you pause it and you use the dial, you can just go fast forward and you just scroll on the remote control. Also, if you guys wanted to play video games on Apple TV, you can do that as well. You can just go into the app store and download any games. You can also use your arcade app and play your games you cannot use the apple tv remote to play any video games unfortunately um you can uh, use your either your xbox remote you can just pair it into your apple tv or your playstation uh, remote and there's alternative remotes out there that you can connect to your tv and just play your video games on the apple tv and that pretty much sums it up i'm excited i can't wait to get deeper into this apple tv and check it out and see if there's any other cool features that i probably missed if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next video this is ariel diaz peace